Hello everyone, I'm Yadagi Reddy and welcome to my channel HYR Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and run your first test script inside the Eclipse IDE. So in our previous videos, we have covered what is meant by TestNG and what are the advantages of the TestNG and who invented the TestNG and why the name TestNG and we have also seen what is the installation process of the TestNG, right? So we have installed the TestNG at the Eclipse level and we have also installed the TestNG inside the projects also, right? That means we have installed the Eclipse TestNG plugin and we have also installed the TestNG libraries into the projects also, right? So in this video, we will see how we can create our first test script using Selenium WebDriver and we will see how we can execute that. So first I will note down here what I'm going to do. Create and run Selenium test script, right? So I'm going to use the test engine internally for Selenium test script here. So I need the Selenium libraries, right? So the Selenium libraries I need and also I need the Chrome driver.exe file, right? So if I want to open any browser, I need the driver executable file also, right? So this part I'm going to eliminate by using WebDriver Manager. Okay. So this part, instead of downloading ChromeDriver.exe, I'm going to use the WebDriver Manager dependency. So let's see. First, let me open the Eclipse. So here I'm going to do some things. Okay. So in previous video, I have created normal Java project and Maven project, right? So I'm going to use the Maven project in this series, guys. Okay. So I'm going to delete this normal Java project. And in my previous video, we have also created one test class, right? So I'm going to delete that one as well because I haven't created the test class inside some package. So this will be pointed to the default package. But as per the coding standards, we should not use the default packages, right? So we should always have the package name. So I'm going to just delete this one. So now this default package will go once you create any package with some name. So let me create the package. So you all know what is the need of the package actually, right? So if you want to group the classes in your project, then you have to have some container. So that container is nothing but the package. Okay. So using package, you can group your classes under different, different containers under different categories. That means so here, whatever I'm going to add, that will be my test script, right? I'm going to create the test Selenium test script and run the test script, right? So that means I'm going to create the test. So my package name will be test. Okay. So I'm going to create all the tests under the test package com.hyr.test. So this is how I'm going to write. So I'll just click on finish. So inside this package, I'm going to create the class file. So first let me create the normal Java class file. So I'll name the class file as first test and click on finish. So inside this class file, I want to add the test engine related code, right? I can call this one as a normal Java class file only now because I don't have any test engine related code inside this one, right? So I haven't added any test engine related code. So I cannot call this one as a test engine class, right? So when you can call this one as a test engine class, once you add any test engine related code into this class, then you can call this one as a test engine class, right? So how do we add the test engine related code? We need to use some annotations. Okay. We have so many annotations basically. So I, yeah, I'm going to show you the main annotation that is at the rate test. So in our upcoming videos, we will see all the annotations, but for now, just remember that we are going to deal with only at the rate test annotations. So what is a test method? Actually, a test method is also one method only, but it is having a test annotation. So first let me create the method public void. I'll just uh, name this one as test Google. Okay. So I just want to test the Google application. So this is a normal Java method, right? So when it will become a test method, if I add the at the rate test annotation, then it will become the test method. So where I need to add above the method. So I need to import the references, right? So this at the rate test annotation is coming from the test ng library. So I need to import the references. You need to import the references which are coming from the org .test -ng annotations. So now this is a test method. So once the test method is available inside any Java class, we can call that Java class as a test ng class. So here I'm going to add the code. So before adding any Selenium code, first I need to download the dependencies, right? That means I need to download the library files, right? So let me go to Chrome. So I'll go to Maven repository. So from there only I'm going to download the libraries. Okay. So first let me download the Selenium Java. Type for Selenium Java and open the first one Selenium Java. So here we have the beta version as well as stable version. So I'm not going to choose the beta version because the beta version might have some bugs also, right? So I'm going to choose the latest to stable version. So I'm going to copy this dependency and go to the palm file. So where we need to add the dependency, we need to add the dependency inside the palm file, right? So let me add that. And apart from this, I'm going to add web driver manager, right? So that is the dependency I need for maintaining the Chrome driver exe, Internet Explorer driver exe, I mean driver executable files basically, right? So open this first one. 
So I'm going to choose the latest version. So copy this dependency and paste it inside your Eclipse. I mean the POM file. So here these are the comment lines. So I'm going to just remove them. Press Ctrl D in that line. So the line will be completely removed. So now it is not actually properly aligned, right? So if you want to align this file, just press Ctrl A. So which will select the entire text, then press Ctrl I. So it is actually indentation. So when you press Ctrl I, it will do the indentation for you. So now you can see the code is actually beautifully aligned, right? So all the dependencies are in one level. So let me save this. So here the libraries are actually downloaded. So when you expand this one, okay, not the JRE system library, let's expand Maven dependencies. You can see Selenium Java related dependencies are downloaded and we can also see the web driver manager here. Okay, that means those libraries are actually downloaded into this Maven project. So now let's add the script. So what I want to do, I want to open the Chrome application, I mean Chrome browser and navigate to Google homepage, then enter some text and click on enter and print the website title. So first I need to set the web driver manager. So instead of using system.set property, I'm going to use this one. Chrome driver dot setup. So this will do the work for us. So next I'm going to create the instance for web driver. I mean the Chrome driver basically because I want to open the Chrome browser. Okay. So you can open any browser guys. So as this is my first script, I'm going to choose the Chrome browser. So once the browser window is open, I want to maximize that window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Okay. So after maximizing, I want to navigate to the website. So here we have two methods for navigating to any website. We have two methods. Get is the one method and another one is navigate dot two method. So I have already covered the difference between get and navigate to in my previous video. So you can check out that video guys. Okay. I will leave the link in the description box below. So here I need to go to Google homepage, right? So let me first go to the Google homepage and copy the URL and paste it here. So after navigating to that one, I need to enter some text into this one. Okay. First, let me inspect this. So here we have the name. So let me copy the name. The name is Q driver dot find element. We are going to find the element by using name, right? And we need to pass the name. What is the name? Name is the Q dot. We want to enter some text, right? So we are going to use the send keys. So here the by reference is actually not imported. So let me import that. So now you can see uh, send keys is coming. So I need to enter some text. So what we will enter, I will enter HYR tutorials. Okay. So once I enter, I want to click on enter button. Okay. So here you can see we have the Google search button, right? So I don't want to click on that. I want to simply click on enter button from our keyboard. So how do we do that? So after entering the text, put a comma and add the key from keys. So here I'm going to add enter key. So what it will do, it will enter the text, then it will click on enter. So once you click on enter, it is going to navigate to the search results page, right? So I want to print that one. I want to print the text of that one. Okay. So what is the method for printing the title of the web page? Get title is the method, right? So this is the one. So I need to put this one inside sysout. Okay. So if you want to print it, you need to use the system.out.println here, right? So after this, I'll just wait for some time just to show you guys. Okay. So we don't require any weight or anything, but so just to show you those such results, I'm just giving some thread dots link. Okay. So let me add the exception. So after this, I want to close the browser. So a simple test script guys, nothing big here. So I'm opening the Chrome browser and navigating to the Google homepage, then entering some text and clicking on enter. Then I'm getting the title of that one. Then I'm just giving some three dots leap and closing the browser. So let me run this file. So now the test script is created, right? So this one is a test class and this one is a test method. So when you add any method with the at the rate test annotation, then we call that one as a test method. So if you have any test method inside the class, inside the Java class, then we call that one as a test class. So here, this is a test class and this is a test method. So let me run this test method. So how you can run the test method. So we have two different ways guys. Okay. So what are those? First thing is you can directly click on this run button above the test method. So just below this at the rate test annotation, you have run, right? So just click on that one. It, that this test method will be run or you can directly right click on this class file and go to run as and click on this test ng test. So when you click on this one, it is going to run the entire class file. So inside this class, we have only one test method now. So if you have multiple test methods, all the test methods will be executed. If you want to execute only one test method, you need to click on this run button. So first let me do this run button. So I have clicked on this run button. So let me see the Chrome browser is opened and navigated to Google and entered the text and it is waiting for five seconds. 
and you can see so in the console also it printed the text right the driver text that means it is actually navigated to that search results page so it entered the text and pressed on enter key that is why the search results page came actually hyr tutorials google search that means our test is successfully passed right so let me show you in the test ng results also it is saying test one of one and method is one so it is passed so now what i will do i will add one more test method and i will show you how to run both the test methods so let me copy this and paste it here so instead of test google i will say test facebook so here i will change the url to facebook.com and let me open the facebook here so i want to enter the text inside this username text box so this is having one name email so let me use that so inside this i am going to just enter hyr tutorials only and i will not press enter so i'll simply enter this text and i'll get the title or let me add that one as well so what happens if you enter the text here so let's see hyr tutorials and press enter so here it is going to the different page right the title is going to be same only but it is going to the different page so let's do this one itself so after entering the text i'm going to just click on enter and i want to print that title also so this time i want to run both the methods okay both the test methods i want to execute so how do i do that so if i click on this run only one test method will be executed right so you have again two options the first option is you can click on run all above the class so above this class you have the run all method right so if you click on this run all option then all the test methods inside this class will be executed and the second option is just right click on this and go to run as and run as test ng test so let's click on this one so this time i need to open two browsers okay but sequentially first one browser will be opened the first test will be completed then it will go to the second one so this time did you observe one thing the facebook is opened first time actually i have given the google as first one right so test google is the first method then the facebook is there but why the facebook is triggered first that is because test ng will directly intake the alphabetical order so this test facebook is comes first right so here after test f is there and here g is there so after f only g is there right so alphabetically this is in the first position and this is in the second position so test ng is going to execute the test cases in the alphabetical order so we will see in our upcoming videos like how to execute this one in the first place and how to execute this one in the second place so those options also we have okay you can explicitly say that okay execute this test method in the first place and execute this one in the second place so all these things we are going to see in the upcoming videos so for now just remember that we have executed two test cases and you can see the console also so the two test cases are executed so if you go to this one also you can see test one of one is there and two methods are there right that means two test methods are executed successfully okay without any failure two test methods are executed you can see the timing also here so we have seen with a single test method and we have also seen how to do with the multiple test methods also so this is how we need to create and run our first test script guys so i hope you understand so if you have any doubts or if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section below and if you like the video please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends Thank you for watching. Bye bye.